Now we're going to show the process of re the new process of releasing symbols to ORCAD. So we built all those symbols, we viewed them, and we can either go look at the this symbol here and walk through them or close them. But the next step is to go release the symbols. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy the ORCAD symbols to a release directory. Now I'm going to browse and select downloads for now. We can select the uh, directory anywhere we want. Let's just go to downloads to keep it out of the way. Um, here's my downloads directory and we'll save it there. So it's going to copy the release directory to downloads. Then we're going to hit copy symbols and we're going to see what happens. So it copied four symbol files from the part directory or CAD symbols to the downloads directory with the XC part number. And now it created an ORCAD tickle file to convert EDIF to OLB. Okay. To use this command, we're going to paste this command here into ORCAD tickle window. So I'm going to open ORCAD. I'm going to pop this up front. I'm going to copy this command verbatim from here with the quotes. And we're going to shrink the ORCAD window a little so we can see the command window. So here is the command window. We need to make sure that's on so we can view and make sure the command window is enabled because that's where we have to do the work. We'll hit control V and that part just got, it converted the EDIF file that Part Builder created into an OLB and now we can go look at the part, the uh, pins And ORCAD is just so slow at opening these things. So here is our symbol 1, the config pin. Symbol 2 is the uh, banks, the I.O. banks. And we can go all the way down to symbol I, where we had fixed the MGT AVCC. So you can see very quickly, we just imported the, the symbols into ORCAD.